I'm going to bed, Ink Drop. I'm exhausted. Good night, Esperanza. Wake up now, Esperanza. Just got to sleep. Esperanza, you have to wake up. Esperanza, wake up. Esperanza, wake up. We all need you. What? Esperanza. Existence. That's right! I'm dead! I I'm dead! You're right! And accept it! Most mythics are rather upset over the fact that they're no longer in existence anymore. One particular black Pegasus would not stop complaining about how badly he wanted to get back to the world of the living. Yet his time was up. What do you mean? What are you even talking about? Try to calm down, Esperanza. You've just died. And I can take a lot out of my mythics. If I'm dead, then what am I doing here? Seer of souls? Other mythics dying? What does this all mean? I am the seer of souls. When mythics die, they come to see me. Mythics fade from my existence once they have died. I have seen many mythics come and go. You are now the same predicament, Esperanza. As mythic, your time is up and you have died. Now you will fade from existence forever. But my daughters... and Cavalor... will have to live on without their lovely Esperanza at their side. But maybe not? You speak in riddles. I don't understand. And are we in the Dark Realm or what? Do not yet try to stand, O Esperanza. Like I said, you just died. It can take a while to recover from that. To answer your question, we are not in the Dark Realm, yet a representation of the Dark Realm that I crafted myself. When I perished as a mythic, I set this place up to try and help other mythics as they died, to give them one last word of peace before they go forever. Then why haven't you faded away? I am one of the two strongest mythics that ever was created. I am one of the first mythics, therefore I cannot fade. Once the second strongest mythic dies, he will not fade either. Who's the other mythic? The other strongest one? I do not speak of the other. I hold a grudge against him, and am not quick to forgive. If you've claimed to help the dying mythics, you must have run across Pyro and Ivy and Icicle and Twilight and all those guys. Yes, 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 yes I, I have. have. And they've, they've all faded, faded away to nothingness. Yes, 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 yes. But, but I'm rather hesitant, hesitant to give you that. Yes, yes. I'm not so sure if I want you to fade away to nothingness, nothingness. so I have, I have a proposal, proposal for you. For you. What proposal? I'm dead. See the faded scar on my neck? Krugrant himself slashed me open. Shouldn't I fade away like the rest of them? 
Esperanza, you are the stuff of legends. You were originally a mortal horse, a regular mortal. Yet you were granted with fire powers, which should never have happened to you, and took on the shape of a mythic. When you died, 100 years later. You are very strange. Yet, I'm not so sure if you should fade, since you once had the life of a regular mortal. Since you had this life, I'm willing to give it back to you. So what you're saying is, I could go back down to Earth and live out the rest of my days in my old Arabian form? Yes, yes. you would live much shorter than you would as a regular immortal, but you cannot be that again, alas. If you want to stay as an immortal, you will die and fade away into nothingness. If you decide to be a regular mortal, you will live only a few years longer. And then, when you die, you will be susceptible to judgment of the realms, to see which one you shall reside in for eternity. The Dark Realm. I want to reside in the Dark Realm when I die. Mortals only reside in the Dark Realm after death for doing foul and punishable deeds. You'd be tortured for all eternity there. If you're hoping to see Cavalor, it would not work. How do you know that's why I wanted to go there? Your thoughts are an open book now that you are dead. I see the feelings you have for him, and for your daughters. Hey, those are private! Not to me, and I'm sure they know your feelings for them as well. What do I do? I don't know if I want to become a regular old immortal again. I've grown so used to living in the... in the realm of the mythics, Mythic Hill. Could I visit it as a regular mortal? No. no. If you, you accept, accept this old life, life back, you can never return, return to Mythic Hill until you die. die. So I'd never see my daughters again? Or Cavalor? They... will come to you. If you choose this path, of course. I accept! I was only a regular mortal for two years anyway, before my life changed forever and grew kind of terrible. I'll go back. To the Earth. Of course. But before you go, I must answer your question. What question? You wanted to know what my name was. It's Sapienna. In the old mythic tongue, it means the wise one. I've never heard of you before, and I've learned the history of the mythics. Well, almost all of it. Some parts have been left out, but... Who are you? I created the Dark Realm, my friend. A stroke of genius on my part. Should I be going now? I have to find Iris. She's on Earth. As a mortal. As a regular mortal as well. I can find her again. Then I bid you farewell, Esperanza. Find your daughter. And... Promise me one thing. You, mysterious Sapienna, have granted me another chance at life. I will promise you whatever you wish. Then promise me this. Take care of my son. What? Who's your son? I... tell me. I can't take care of him if I don't know what his name is. <laughs>